I have some concerns. Hey y'all, this is Pink Spirited. How you doing? So today I am going on my very first cruise. I am going on um, Princess Cruises. That's what it's called. I'm going on Princess Cruises on a seven night cruise. And I just kind of want you guys to join me in my journey. It's my very first one, so I don't know a whole lot of what to expect. I did a lot of research, but hopefully this will help you. Um, and additionally, I am 312 pounds, so I wanted to see what's fat friendly, what's not. Right now, I am staying at the Crown Plaza. It's, uh, when I looked online, it was one of the ones that a lot of people said, you know, hey, give this a try. Not because it's fat friendly, just because I guess it's close to the terminals. I don't see. This is my view from outside my window at the Crown Plaza. I do have a nice view of the actual downtown. I think that's downtown. Meanwhile, um, this is my room. Here, I'll turn you around. So this is the bed. It is extremely hard. If you are a fluffier person, this is good for you because I hate being in beds where it feels like I'm sinking through. There's also this weird space right here that I'm not really sure about. Uh, I don't know what they want to put there. A couch, what I was eating, chair. Uh, if you're a heavier person, I would sit on that as opposed to the couch. The couch is fine, it's firm. But if you're heavier than me, um, that's probably more stable. Also, if you're wet, sit on that. Don't sit on the couch just because that's nasty. Here is the bathroom. It's very pretty, actually. And the shower. Isn't that pretty? It's very uh, slip proof. So. And everybody's using these now. They're like, oh no, you're not going to take my good stuff. Take what we give you. So there is a toilet in there. Oh, go in. Um, oh, and there's this. Nice, right? This is the tour of uh, Crown Plaza. I wanted to show you this because in addition to it, I think it being very fat friendly because of the, the shower and the bed being, the bed is hard and firm, but you're not gonna sink through it if you're heavier. Um, and I actually did sleep pretty well on it. Um, but the reason I wanted to show you this is because when you go online and you look, you'll notice that it looks kind of blue. And as you can see from my room, it's, it's not, it's not blue, like at all. So just FYI, but it is 11 o'clock. So it's time for me to check out, I'm like 11.30, 11 o'clock. It's time for me to check out. I meant to be up, ooh, hey, hey girl. Get back in there. I meant to be up way earlier, but my flight, my flight y'all was postponed, was delayed for three hours, three hours. So I didn't get here until like 11.20 p.m. I was quite exhausted. I didn't actually get to bed until like 3 a.m. You know, so I had to do my hair, I had to do all my stuff, I had to eat something. I didn't actually get to bed until 3 a.m. I wanted to be on the ship in time to do the sail away lunch that I heard that you can actually do. But no, no, we're not doing that. And yet, I don't even have time to put my makeup because we got to go. Because we got to go to Walmart because I only bought one pair of pants. And guess what I'm wearing? Yeah. So we had to go to Walmart to get two more pairs of pants and a razor because that is important. And then we shall head to the cruise ship. I'm going to probably be one of the last to board. And I'm fine with that because it means my room will be ready. I'm not trying to do extra whatever. So, <laughs> so follow me. Let's go. Hey, y'all. So here I am in my room. Excited. Hype. Yay! I am super tired. My phone died, so I could not do like showing you my first getting on and showing you going through the lines. I took a taxi as opposed to an Uber to my hotel room, Crown Plaza, and the fucking taxi. 
the darn taxi man is like first of all this is a short short trip this is a five minute trip and he's like oh well uh it's gonna be 25 dollars i know you effing lying <laughs> it's like i was like really 25 dollars he's like yeah i was like well he's like oh and i only take cash scamming ass scammers scamming scammers okay so i was like so so what's what's wrong with the card reader like this card reader don't work he's like nah nah that's broken i said i think you're i think you're lying to me he's like nah i would not do that you're a fucking liar <laughs> but anyway i'm on the dock trying to find my thing i find my thing um and i tell the dude and i say i'm sorry the scamming taxi man took all my money and he says oh that's okay just give me a hug i'm like my people you know they're they're you know um and so i'm like okay here i'm from texas we give hugs it's not a big deal why the fuck did he kiss my neck oh my god strongly regret it i have not dealt with nasty old men in a very long time and i forgot what they were <sighs> anyway, so get through all that, get in here, room's not ready, captain comes on, says room is ready, it, uh, it is ready, but the door is still closed, so somebody just opens the door and starts walking, so I start walking, and I'm on the wrong side of the ship, I am 632, I am on the odd end, so I have to get to the other side of the ship whatever whatever I am here now and that's what matters my phone is at 9% so I'm going to go ahead and show you my room I just have a regular schmegular balcony um no couch because it's just me if I if you wanted a couch you should have got the deluxe well, my initial impression of this room, is it fat person friendly? No, it is not. No, it is not. And I'm going to show you why. All right. So, my mustard station is station E. I need to head down there. But first, look at this door. This door is narrow. This door is narrow. Here is my closet which I will be putting my stuff up because I'm going to use my uh, suitcase as a laundry bag. Safe, which I'm not going to put anything in. I never do. This is the bathroom with a very high step. So watch it. Teeny tiny bathroom. It's pretty though. I love that color. See foam. So you step up. Teeny, teeny tiny shower. The shower is very, very, very small. They do have some amenities. Shampoo and conditioner, shower gel. Of course, you know, if I bring your own. Please test the water temperature before stepping into the bathtub or shower. They have the thing so that you can hang your uh, wet swimsuit. Cool, but this is a very small situational a situation ship so robes on the back it, it it's small it's small it's small for a regular person so it's probably really really small for you so FYI uh, this is the bedroom once again I have a regular schmegular balcony that is all. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Me throwing my shit everywhere. So they do have stuff. I have a stuff about norovirus. If you want to order, sorry, your cricket. If you want to order stuff for your room, say you how to connect to Medallion Net, which is their Wi-Fi on a ship. Says, uh, first day at sea. Let's 
stuff that's happening. Reasons why you love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Princess prizes, which I do not have. It's like a lottery. Here are my excursions. And my balcony. Now, let's close that. Now, are the chairs out there that people friendly? No, no, my hips. My hips were made for walking. <laughs> my hips were made for birthing. And those, it's, it squeezes my hips a bit, honestly. And, but it's not a big deal because you have this chair, which does not have sides. So let's go ahead and get my shoes on and head on out. Oh, that's my bag that I bought from Walmart. Has pants in it, two extra pairs of pants, a razor, some eyeliner. That's pretty much it. Um, so let's go ahead. Mm. Put some put some lip gloss on and head on to our muster station. Let's go. This here. Oh, they ding twice. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Here we are. So, yes, I'm laying down. I have watched the video. I visited my muster station. We're all good. Now, I'm kind of hungry. But I really don't want to deal with people. Decisions. So, this phone is about to die. And I definitely want you guys to be there when I go and find the buffet. Um, so we'll let the phone charge, take a wee little nap, maybe visit the buffet when they're doing the sell-away party. Maybe there'll be less people. Plan. Plan. Good plan. Good job, me. solo travelers meetup that I'm supposed to go to and I'm late because I was taking a nap so let's go and see what's going on I went I saw I realized I didn't want to be a part of it so that's all right so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now for all of the wobbliness it was really hard holding the tray and holding uh, the camera so they ask you to wash your hands before you come in here um, I didn't really see anybody having a problem doing that. You do serve yourself. They're not serving you. So you come in here, you just, you know, to walk, take a look around. It says breakfast deli, but it's really just a salad bar um, when it's not breakfast. So they have lots and lots of delicious stuff. They had like chicken, sauteed chicken breast or something like that. It was really, really good. I really liked it. Um... There's a lot of stuff in here that I just didn't try. I just didn't get around to it. I actually ate a lot less on this cruise than I thought I would. Um, this has, I think, crawfish over there today. Lots of soup. Um, very good dessert. I strongly suggest the fruit tart. It is just delicious. There's just a lot of stuff here. They have a cheese platter over this way. See, and meats and such. I guess as an appetizer. I don't know. I never actually ate it. And they always have this table that's right by the window. They have actually several of them, and they're so good. See, that's the chicken I was talking about. It's just delicious. Please try it. And here is the fruit tart. It's a large fruit tart. Please try it. It is so freaking good. So when I went to my room from coming back from the uh, buffet, they were cleaning it. So... I decided that this would be a great time to actually do the promenade deck, take a look around.
end of the day. <laughs> this ship is swaying and it is making my head hurt. So the one thing that's kind of cruddy is there's one, two, three, four, five, six elevators and I never know which no. one is gonna be. <laughs> In the elevator now, there's a little scent going on. I don't like it. <laughs> table with a couple and uh, four sisters and their husband no three sisters a friend and their husband and different different people they said they had 11 siblings and they're all on the boat oh my gosh that is a lot of people they said that um when they go eat dinner, they just have a whole section to themselves. I couldn't imagine. And the boat is very pitchy. So we're trying to drink afternoon tea and we're just... <laughs> Overall, good time, good scone. Still hungry. Might just wait for dinner though. And now a nap before dinner. Listen, I should have just stayed asleep because you explained to me what the hell is going on here and we'll both know, okay? So I went and I was in the Palm Dining Room and they gave me this menu. Everything looks good. So I decided to try a Thai salad. What the hell is this? I thought there'd be greens. There's not. This is lamb. Lamb shank? It was disgusting. This is blueberry and peach cobbler. Is I. I ended up just going to the buffet and eating and really I should have done that throughout the whole trip because ugh. I woke up from my nap totally forgetting oh you're cricket <laughs> I woke up from my nap totally forgetting that it was uh what's the night formal night so the pretty dress that I brought could not wear also I did not do my hair <laughs> but here see I had a couple of options the pretty dresses for a formal night and then this one that I wore to Pearlene's wedding could have been a bridesmaid um but I completely forgot for the next formal dinner which I'm kind of not wanting to go to because the food was not great at this one. <sighs> so tomorrow I wake up to go with the stingrays and we have to set our clocks back an hour because we're passing into central time. So tomorrow morning I wake up and I go swimming with the stingrays and then the rest of the day probably on the ship. We'll be in Grand Cayman so I will see you tomorrow if I don't die tonight because it was so hot last night it was a it was so hot I woke up at like 2 a.m. to party and I could not get back to sleep it was so hot that's why I ended up sleeping so late today I plan on going to breakfast you know going around looking around the ship I still haven't been to the top deck tomorrow morning 6 a.m. we're smooth waters now we're no longer swaying like a drunken sailor so I have to wake up 6 a.m. tomorrow to you know get all the the parts shaved and then we meet at 7 15 at the theater i believe i'll check my ticket and then we just go and swim i guess so i'll see you there good morning everybody so we are in the cayman islands today Woo! hype and because i am god's favorite he woke me up exactly 30 minutes before we had to get to our excursion meeting spot and because I am hard-headed, I slept in another five minutes. <laughs> so, like, I don't need every second that he gave me. So my voice is kind of crackling, but we are 
in our swimsuit, in our little skirt, and I'm gonna put on my cover up, and we are going to head out after I put on some sunscreen, cause I will burn. <laughs> Let's go. Why, hello again. So, we seem to be spending a lot of time in this room, and it's not intentional. But as you can see, I was group seven, and they have canceled the excursions today. So I got all dressed. I was happy that we were in port so that I could actually shave things without, you know, cutting off my toe or an ear or something. Um, but they've canceled it. They said the swells were too high. I don't know much about, see, it doesn't look much of anything to me, but I'll take it from people who do this for a living. Let me show you the outside. We're facing away from where the boats were. The, the Disney Wish is parked right next to us. So. It is hot out there, y'all. So, we can't go outside. Or at least not off the ship. It's muggy as shit anyway. Oh my God. It is so humid out there. But, so, we can't get off the ship. It's still like 7 a.m. I'm about to go hit up the Oblet station. So, if y'all want to come with me to the buffet, let's see what the omelet's given. So from now on, we're having daily outfit reviews. I don't care. I don't care. I'm too cute for this. Uh, this is my favorite shirt. My sister bought it for me. I love this shirt so much. So I went up to the buffet. I don't know what that meat is, but it was so good. And what I love about the buffet is you get right up against the window and have a great view. Oh, it's great. So for the rest of the day, I basically just kind of hung out in my room. And then it rained. And luckily, it reduced the humidity so much so that I didn't feel like I had to peel off my skin when I went to sleep at night. I'm sorry. That's quite the visual. I apologize. But that's what it felt like. And we continued on to our next dock, Honduras.